Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to not underestimate the comfort of lies. That could be the lies that we tell ourselves, and more importantly, the lies that we accept from sources outside of us. See, there's a the, the comforting nature of a lie is that you don't have to challenge your belief where someone else doesn't have to challenge theirs. So sometimes you can have actions, thoughts, ideas that come against or contradict somebody else's beliefs. And in not wanting to change that about themselves or even question it, they will attempt to make you insecure in what you feel and what you believe or what you know. They will attempt to make you feel as if you're off of your rocker, you're not correct, or there's no way possible that they could be wrong. That's a level of comfort. Now, sometimes the things that we want, many times the things that we want are on the other side of what we fear, what we're uncomfortable with interacting with. So the comfort in lies can really be, uh, what you see them, it could be unsettling. And truthfully be unsettling. I've seen this many times along my journey. I'm sure I will see it many times more. There was a uh, a particular incident that came to mind while I was on my walk this morning. There was a uh, I haven't thought about it in a while. I went out uh just some years back. Went out with some acquaintances and uh you know we chilled. It was somebody's birthday, so we went out to a karaoke bar. All right, it's not my thing. I'm not even a, a big social person, so I was really doing it so I can be more social because I was working on some blockages that I had, and honestly, I thought that I was I thought that I was losing my mind. So I said, hey, let me go out with some people, get out of my thoughts, and relax for a bit. What I realized was, in the midst of interacting with these people, I guess I should share this. Before we went out, I had a I had a personal talk with one of the individuals, the birthday guy. And I was telling about some of the struggles I was having or some of the issues I was having in uh, the state that I had just moved from. And I was telling about some of the discords I was having with people, some of the issues, and I didn't think anything of it. I thought we were simply just having an honest conversation. What I didn't know is the things that I was saying and the way that I was resolving some of these uh issues that I was having because I was sharing my solutions something in my solutions it rattled his spirit it really bothered him but instead of saying something to me he he decided to challenge me put it like that not directly no when we went out to the karaoke bar a story had been put amongst the people I was with I don't know what the story was. I wasn't there. I was only there to witness the aftermath, which was people trying to get me upset. They wanted to see me mad. They wanted to see me angry. And I remained calm. What I did do, in a fit of ego, is when I had a chance to get one of those main provocateurs one-on-one, I openly challenged them, what's the problem? You don't like me if you got an issue with how I move or how I live. And mind you, this is the first time I met this guy. If you have an issue with it, let's go ahead and get that out the way now. Because you went out your way a lot to try to get something out of me. And now you got it. So what do we want to do about it now since we have it here? The guy laughed it off. Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's cool. Dad me up, gave me a hug, all this stuff. I said, okay. I knew I wasn't tripping. Because as soon as he left me. He went off to tell his buddies, fine. I walked out to my vehicle, left with who I came with. Now, in the vehicle, the person I was riding with, I explained to them exactly what transpired from beginning to end. Me and this man had a one-on-one. He got with his buddies. They wanted to incite something out of me. They got what they wanted. Then I was crazy because they wanted a reaction, right? I'm bringing up the comfort and lies because when I told this individual I was riding with that same story, oh no, no, you're you're bringing the drama from your last state over to this state and you're you're overreacting and why would they do that? See, they're they're trying to build, they're attempting to build insecurity within myself, within my knowing. No, I know exactly what's going on. I see the spiritual warfare and I'm calling it out and I'm ready to go to battle for it. 
I'm calling it out. Okay. Once again, we're talking about comfort and lies, correct? See, I knew that they had found a comfort in simply denying me of what I was saying and what I knew to be true. So I honored that. Okay. That doesn't mean I find comfort in those same lies. So I'm not going to stand with it. I'm not going to interact with y'all. None of that. Now, let's say two, three months later, this whole time I've been denied. And mind you, the birthday boy, oh, I, I popped up to his residence a couple times to make sure we had a one-on-one -on -one again to understand, hey, I seen what you tried to do. I'm not for it. What's the issue? But nobody went into the door, so I just let it be. All right, whatever. I'm not telling y'all to do this. I'm simply sharing my testimony, being honest with you, fully transparent. Because to the outsiders, I looked crazy. I looked like I was making something up just so I could have drama in my life. I don't even like drama. Let's fast forward two, three months. Remember, we're talking about the comfort and lies. The person I rode with denied me. That's one. The person who I had a heart to heart with before this whole situation began denied me. That's two. His friend denied me when I called him out on a one on one. That's three. They all denied me my reality. They all denied my truth. They would not entertain any part of it. Two, three months later, the birthday boy tells the person that I was riding the vehicle with. Two people that denied me, right? Birthday boy says, man, how's, how's Derek doing? Yeah, I, I feel like that night I was on some BS. Yeah, man, I was tripping. and I, I don't even blame him for him, you know, acting how he or responding how he responded. I didn't need that validation. I didn't need it. See, at one point in my life, I needed that to say, see, I told you I was right. Nope. When the person I rode with came and told me that story, I said, oh, okay. And I kept it moving because I had made my peace with it. I made my peace. And when they came and told me, oh, okay, you were right. What am I supposed to do? Say, thank you for validating me. No, in the heat of the moment, you deny my truth. Two, three months later, you were still denying my truth. It took for somebody else to say it in order for it to be true. I'm sharing this to simply say, honor the power of lies because the comfort that it gives is way easier for many people than the dealing with the unsettling truth something to think about once again comfort and lies it's powerful it's very powerful i'm also sharing this with you so you understand that sometimes you know things that cannot be explained and even if you can articulate it the best way possible many will deny you it's none of your business trust in the guidance that you have within you which comes from the one above everything else will work itself out validation verification it may not come when you want it but i promise you it's gonna come you don't get to choose when you don't get to choose how when it comes allow that to be another testament of how strong your faith is and knowing that you are walking on the right side of god hope you enjoy your day with that said be blessed do not forget, smile, life is beautiful.